Borussia Dortmund gegen Bayern München. Der Supercup ging an Schwarz-Gelb, das Hinspiel an Rot. Jetzt das dritte Duell der Saison und im Kampf um die deutsche Meisterschaft das Wichtigste. Alles dazu jetzt im Spieltagsmagazin. And for a top game, obviously we need a top guest in our pre-match show today. Welcome Erling Haaland. Wodan Hadude. <laughs> thank you. I have it very good, thank you. Yeah, he answered in English. I just asked him uh, how he is in Norwegian. I hope I did it right. Yeah, you did it right. Okay. Well done. Thank you, thank you very much. Perfect restart. You should be smiling. Six goals and six or six to zero goals and six points from the first two games. What makes the team so strong after that restart? Yes, you said um, a very good, uh, a very good start. Um, uh, but we we know that we have a, a strong team. Everybody knows that, and uh, and um, it's about getting it out in uh, in the game. And uh, yeah, we've been uh, doing that so far. Before the, the derby, uh, you said, and I will quote this, it's shit. Simple as that, I need them. You were asked about the lack of fans in the stadium. So how did, how did that feel? How was the atmosphere in that derby without fans? Of course, uh, I could wish that, uh, that I could celebrate in front of, uh, in front of the wall, of course. Um, uh, but that's how the situation is now. And uh, We still have to be happy that we can uh, play football, and I know that uh, we have uh, we have good support from home, and uh, yeah, that's also uh, important. Yeah, but to be honest, I mean, you scored the very first go goal after the Corona break in a very important game for all of the BVB fans, and me personally, I would have loved to hug everybody. But what did you do? Just an easy and cool dance with Ashraf. How did you come come up with this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to jump on ev everyone and uh, and to uh, to celebrate like a like a crazy man. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I did a small dance and um, and uh, yeah, I felt I felt good after doing that dance. So, but did you, did you prepare that because Ashraf was doing the same and everybody was kind of following, or was it like spontaneous? Yeah, we we talked a little bit about it the the day before, and uh, and then I said, yeah, I will do it when I score. Ah, very, very good. You also once said that you love it when you score and the fans will cheer your name. So just imagine, how, how, how much did you miss the yellow wall calling your name after this important first goal, after this break in the derby? Yeah, I, uh, I, I missed them a lot, to be honest. Uh, I had a, a very good start there and uh, I also have to thank them uh, for the good start uh, because... Uh, It's been amazing and the support has been uh, unreal, so uh, I miss them a lot, um, but we, we still have to, uh, to be happy that we can play football and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. But with or without fans, Erling, like Cupid, shot his arrow straight into the arts of the BVB fans. Es läuft bei Erling Haaland und das ganz locker flock. Der Norweger trifft wie am Fließband und hat dabei eine besondere Vorliebe für Premieren. Im ersten Bundesligaspiel gleich ein Tor. Besser gesagt, Tore. Treffer auch im Pokalauftritt Nummer 1. Im ersten Champions-League-Einsatz für Schwarz-Gelb ein Doppelpack. Und die Bude beim Derby-Debüt zeigen wir gerne nochmals. Jetzt das erste Gipfeltreffen mit den Bayern und wir hoffen auf die nächste Premierenfeier. Yeah, so Erling, we just heard it. With every first premiere with the BVB, you, you've been scoring. Now your first Classico against Bayern, a very important game. What's, what's different? Or do, do you have different goals or aims when you go into these kind of games? I'm... Uh Yeah, first of all, is to, uh, as I said, to to try to uh, to play our best football as a team, uh, because I know how how high uh, quality we have in in our team. So it's about getting that out in in the game. Um, uh, so uh, when we do that, we uh, we create chances. We play like a fantastic team, and uh, yeah. Then for me, my job is to uh, to score goals, of course. Uh, 
but uh, also you you seen uh, in the last games that not only uh, I can score, it's uh, either the fullbacks, it's the yeah, it's the midfielders, you know. So uh, so everyone can score, and uh, and that's also uh, something good that we have in in our team. Yeah, that's very important. But when we look at the table. It means that you can't really lose that game against Bayern because it would mean they would be seven points ahead and that would be really hard to catch. So there's a lot of pressure in this game. How do you react to that kind of pressure? Does it bother you at all? No, uh, not really. Um, uh, I, uh, I like to, uh, to play these games and, uh, and that's uh, what I like the most, to be honest. So uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, To a game, a game against a very good uh, Bayern side. Against Wolfsburg, Marin Pograncic, I hope I said it right, was your direct opponent. And uh, is it more difficult to play against somebody that knows you from from daily training because you played together at Salzburg, right? Uh, yeah, it's true. I played with both Marin and uh, Sava uh, Schlager. Uh, also, I'm. Uh, But uh, yeah, it's, I'm a good friend of, uh, of both of them, uh, and uh, it's actually a bit weird, to be honest. To uh, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday against uh, Wolfsburg to play against uh, to play against Marine was a bit strange, you know, because uh, not many months ago I was sitting in the same uh, locker room as him, and uh, he was uh, he is a good friend of me, you know. So uh, so, uh, but it was strange. But uh, that's how it is. You have to. Uh, to uh, still uh, do your thing and uh, these kind of things. And Marin, yeah, he's, uh, you saw yesterday that he's a good player. Now, Boateng, Pavar and Alaba will be your opponents probably in the, in the upcoming game. These are world-class players, even world champions. Um, what kind of mindset do you have? You said already you like those kind of challenges, but what kind of mindset do you, set, uh, or do you, do you have before this kind of game when you play against those kind of caliber of players? Yeah, I try to I try to be uh, as calm as possible and uh, and don't uh, to don't think too much about the game. Uh, they have uh, World Cup winners, but we also have that. So uh, so uh, as I said, we have I know that we have a good team, but Bayern also have a very good team. So uh, it will be uh, will be interesting game. You're always so calm and cool and confident, and that's very good actually. Uh, But you play against Bayern, 13 games unbeaten, 12 of those they have won. Why are you optimistic that you can beat them? As I said, because we have a, we have a good team <laughs> and, I, and I see uh, every teammate every day on training and I see how good they actually are. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all about getting this out as a team together to, uh, to achieve our goals. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to the game. <laughs> Someone you already uh, see every or also see every day in, in practice is Rafa Guerrero. And surprisingly, he is even a better striker after the Corona break than you are because he already scored three. <laughs> Tell me something about him as a teammate and as a player on the pitch. Yeah, Rafa, is a, he's, a, he's a funny guy. He's a top guy. Uh, I always, when I, I'm around him, I laugh and I, and I joke and... Uh, Yeah, he's, a, he's a fantastic player. Uh, as you see, he, he plays a uh, wing back and uh, he scores goals for fun, you know. So, uh, so he is a, he is a fantastic player and uh, yeah, he's one of the best in uh, in the world in his position right now. Yeah, but he needs to work on his right foot when you look at that one goal he scored with the left one. But we also talked to Rafa before this important game against Bayern, and you can see the full clip on BVB TV. It's really worth to watch it, so check it out. But um, Erling, I want to put you to a test now. I want to challenge you. Obviously not on the pitch because I have a little lack of practice at the moment, so I'd rather do it uh, in here. And uh, we play a little game which is called You or Me. Three questions. Uh, number one, please. Erling is currently an international player for Norway. At the time, Patrick also played in a few internationals for Germany. Which of you two has currently made more appearances for their country? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many you have. I mean, uh, 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 professional level, so A level or youth level? A level. A level. Okay, 
You ready? You, 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 yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Me? How many do you have? Come on. Can we get the answer? So here's the answer. In total, Patrick appeared 11 times yes. in the German national side. That's right. Erling will certainly pass his number of appearances one day. Of course. But currently, he has played twice. Only twice? I thought you already, you know, have like 20 or something. I don't know. No, 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 no. Ah. Many more to come. Yeah, yeah. I'm many still more. young. I mean, I'm you're still so young. young yeah. You know what I mean? You've got to have like 100 <laughs> or something or 150, something like that. Okay. I hope so. A point for you. So second question, please. One of the few players that you have both played with is Lukas Piszczek, who this week extended his contract with the club. Which of you has been on the pitch longer with Piszczu in terms of minutes? Oh, that's interesting. In terms of minutes. So we had the 27... In Bundesliga? Only Bundesliga? Or in total. In total. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That's probably correct. You both think early. I think so, yes. Ovo and Pischu were team colleagues for two years yeah. at BVB. But in this time, they spent 222 minutes together on the pitch. Erling <laughs> and Pischu have only been playing together for half a year, but have already amassed 658 yeah. minutes It's on the pitch together. Yeah, I see. That, that was both. easy. That that was easy actually because he's he always he was my substitute or the other way around so it's not yeah. so many times we play together. Okay, last last question. Last question. In the meantime, most people know that Erling made a rap video as a youngster. <laughs> What is perhaps less well known is that Patrick also ventured into a singing career as a teenager. Together with the group Yum Yum, <laughs> he released the single Planet Love in 1997. That's right. Erling's <sighs> rap or Ovo's Eurodance. Which video has had the most clicks on YouTube up to now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't see that coming. Okay, so um, you ready? You got an idea? I'm ready and okay. I know it. You know it. Ah, yes. Okay, maybe he checked it out, you know. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's, that must be true. That must be right, actually. The rap video from Erling and his friends has been viewed almost 3.9 million times. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad, not, not bad. bad not and bad. Patrick, he has to settle for <laughs> 73,000 views. Ah, come on. But we are of the <laughs> yeah, opinion but not bad, the but chart not bad. hit definitely definitely deserve more clicks yeah yeah and yeah. it's a three to yeah, win true. for erling it's a three to win for erling that's exactly right so uh here congratulations applause applause so yep so you won this challenge but still the overall looks kind of good for the hosts of the show nobby did a good job preparing even though i lost today sorry nobby for this but it's 43 against uh, 42 actually for the host so that's okay We already almost at the end. I uh, got one more thing for you. Did you know that your father played twice against Bayern? Um, uh, no, actually not. I did not know. <laughs> yeah, he played uh, with Nottingham. He played against Bayern and he lost both of them uh, games. Uh, one, two and one to five. So please don't let him give you any tips for the upcoming game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will not talk to him. <laughs> no, but it means that if you win the upcoming game, you are already ahead of him in this statistic. So that should be motivation enough for you. Yeah, that would be very nice, and, uh, <laughs> I, and I hope that happens. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. So, Erling, thank you very much for taking your time. Uh, we have all our fingers crossed, actually. And thank you especially for giving me, like, really full answers, because I know sometimes you're quite funny and, and cut them short, but that's okay. Dumb questions, I'm just answering dumbest. my questions. You exactly, know I mean? exactly. Very good. <laughs> so, I hope you score again. Uh, it's going to be empty again, but I will scream as loud as I can. Maybe you can hear me from outside the stadium. So, Yeah, I will, uh, I will uh, hear after you. <laughs> okay. So all the best. Stay healthy and good luck for tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, that was it for today with my special guest, Erling. <laughs> He's still there. Yeah, and I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Here before B. Bye-bye.